say you're a good dancer means you're a great dancer. <laughs> it's true, right? I can keep up. I love that. Yeah. I am Jonathan Bricklin, and this is Table Talk. I'm sitting here with Ramit. Uh, do you have a last name? Is it relevant? Um, in this case, it isn't relevant. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ramit is a, uh, a brilliant person in, in general. Um, you're an incredible, se successful entrepreneur. Um, you are clearly one of the most stylish human beings I've ever met. It's very kind um, of you. And you're an incredible and a passionate ping pong player. Mm -hmm. um, you have been known to carry your paddle with you. <laughs> Even if you're looking dapper, as always, you don't mind having the paddle mess up your, your look or anything? I or think, does it compliment? I think it adds to it. It adds to it? You started Fueled eight years ago? Yeah. Eight years ago. And then you have uh, the, the Duchess, is that yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. What's the Duchess? Um, it's a uh, farm hotel in, in the Hudson Valley. Uh, okay, I read a little about this. Okay, great. And how, how's it going? And do you have a ping pong table there? Uh, yes, uh, we have. Um, we do have a ping pong table there. We're getting a couple more. Okay. Um, and it's it's going amazing. It's it's an experience that um, I feel like I made a move that I think a lot of people make later in their life, a little bit earlier. Uh -huh. um, you know, I have uh, I, I weekend now in, in, in the countryside. Okay. And um, and I go up there, and it is a little bit of an older audience. Um, but uh, the people that come to the hotel, uh, it's just an interesting demographic of, of New Yorkers. Cool. And yeah. you, do you farm the food and everything yeah, on so, site? Yeah, so, so part of the experience is we have um, a couple acre um, biodynamic farm uh -huh. property. And so guests come, uh, we learn about farming first and foremost. A lot of the uh, programming is farmstead programming. Okay. Uh, and then as a group, we go into the field after, take everything that we've learned and use it. So we might do like a little seed in, on a patch of land or we'll harvest something or we'll do both. Uh, and then we hand that over to the chef and then that's one of the ingredients that's used um, in like a you know a four course meal after. Awesome. So so you get the kind of full connection of what um, like how, how land can be used, um, how you harvest, uh, and then like it's really farm to table. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. Is ping pong more special than it necessarily gets credit for? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 absolutely. I think you know um, I started playing at a young age. Do you um, remember your first like introduction to ping pong? Um, I don't remember my first, but I, I, there is an impression that I have when I was younger, when I beat an older gentleman. Um, As a kid, you were like, I beat this old yeah, guy. Yeah, you know, the table was like here on me. And yeah. so I was just like whacking at the ball above my head and I, and I beat someone who I guess played on a regular basis. And I, I, um, I'm a competitive person uh, in nature. Okay. Um, and you love this. It felt and, good. And so, it, you know, talk about positive reinforcement, you know, I, I beat someone like an elder at, at something. Yeah. I was like, this is a really fun game. Has ping pong benefited your business? Like your like your success with, with Fuel? Do you think ping pong has played a role in that or? Yeah. You know, over the course of the, year, uh, the years since I started my business, since we've ha had a ping pong table, actually in a lot of our international offices, we also have a ping pong table. Uh -huh and it's really brought the team together. So when different teams came together and um, from one office came to visit another office, they'd often socialize around the ping pong table. Okay. That's... So after work or like just after lunch, it's like, oh, well, do you want to play a game? Yeah. And you'd be able to see someone's ping pong skills and people really built international bonds of the company over the ping pong table. And so oh, from, cool. from that way, you know, one of the things that, you know, um, success in, in business, it's, uh, especially when you're running a business, uh, a company with, with a lot of employees, it's all about company culture. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would say it has helped me in my success because it's we've been able to create culture on top of that. A strong cultural yeah. bond and internationally. I love the transcendence of language, yeah, like the ability to talk and you're just dancing and... You say it much better than I do. Yeah. No, no, I've, I've been listening to other people describe it wrong, <laughs> so... Uh, you have such an incredible sense of uh, style, fashion style. Is, uh, how did that come to be? Like, did you, did your parents influence you or is there a fashion uh, icon that somehow influenced you as a kid or? No, I, I, I think, so I started to notice the patterns of me kind of deviating from, from the general public in, um, in like fifth, sixth grade. <laughs> um, I love that. And, uh, and I, I think it just came from like a desire to be different. So you were wearing, Awesome, just awesome like, outfits in fifth grade or sixth grade? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it, it depends. You know, it's like a perception of cool. Like, you know, everyone has a different perception. Sure, sure. So, you know, maybe um, you wouldn't consider it awesome. But you were bold, and, and I, I was bold. You were bold, sure. and yeah, you yeah. liked it. 
Yeah, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Amazing. It was fun. Um, my, Where did you grow up? Uh, I was born in New York. Okay. Um, in Long Island, in, in Dix Hills. Okay. I was actually, um, I think my only claim to fame is I uh, was born on, on January 1st, but I was the first baby born that year. Oh, wow. In, in New York. So I was like, the, my mom's in the newspaper holding me as the. At midnight. As the New Year's baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Just, just after the stroke of midnight. Okay. So, final question. Yeah. Is there any stories or any highlights from playing ping pong at Spin here in New York mm -hmm. that come to mind that are funny or interesting? So um, I was there once and it was a friend's birthday. So any, basically any invite I get to Spin, this is like kind of the secret to um, getting you to show up to a party, is if it's hosted at Spin, I'm there. Okay, I like that. You know, if it's cool. someone, you know, I don't barely know the person, but it, the invite Spin, I'm like, great. I, just, I don't get a chance to play ping pong enough. Okay. So any opportunity to socialize and play ping pong, I'm, I'm in. So a friend did their birthday party, and so I, I showed up, and in the middle of the birthday party, they had um, just like a dance competition for all the, all, all the attendees. Uh -huh. And uh, and I really enjoy dancing. And so uh, and I think someone grabbed me off the ping pong table because I really didn't want to stop playing ping pong at that, at that moment. Uh, and so I, you know, I kind of walked over to the dance floor and I saw a couple of people competing and then someone pushed me into the audience and I was like, okay, great. I'll... So I did a couple of dance moves and I ended up kind of winning. Uh -huh. um, but then one of the um, one of the kind of professional dancers at, um, at Spin came out. Our and, ringer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did a couple flips and uh, and, and I, stole your trophy. It was it, it kicked was, you out the door. It was a smooth move, and now now, <laughs> now I'm good friends with him. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have your paddle with you or no? I did not bring the paddle. Right. But yeah. you honestly, you carry it around like when you. Um, I have carried it around at a party if I knew the party had a ping pong table. So I, I have. I, okay, yeah. but you're practical. You don't just. I don't. Just... In case you happen to play. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. That would be great, though. It would be good. All right, so we're gonna, let's play a game to three. Let's do it. All right. All right. You serve. And then one serve each. One serve each. Going by two to five. This be putting it down. I'm the hottest round. I told y'all mother Y'all can stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, come on, get me now. Is you with me now? The biggie, biggie bounce. I know you dig the way I switch my style. Holla, holla. People sing around. Now people gather around. Now people jump around. Get your freak on. 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 Oh my god. Yes!